Bodine52, how are you folks? Last week we were out with Duke, my 2000 Road King Classic in the garage, and we did the part one of a two-part series about lighting up an older motorcycle. And if you remember, we lit up the back with custom dynamics, taillights, and turn signals. And this week we have to finish what we started, and this bike is so beautiful, right up until a point, where you get to that mess. All right, to finish Duke up in the LED lighting on the front of the bike today, we are gonna be installing the Custom Dynamics Pro Beam turn signals. We're then gonna be putting on the LED passing lamps. 4.5 these are super cool looking i want to show them to you but i want to wait till we get them on the bike and then of course we're going to follow up with the matching uh seven inch led halo headlamp um it's just going to make this bike look super sweet and it's going to be much safer okay let's get all the old stuff off the bike okay this is what the front of the bike currently looks like um, to get these off there are rings around these three there are screws under here screws on both of these sides and then of course just these um, screws here to get the turn signals off so let's get to it And the front of Duke is lightless. Let's get the new stuff on. Alrighty, folks. Uh, normal plug and play. Really simple. Goes right into here. Obviously, I made sure that this was all cleaned up prior to uh, to installing anything. This is the LED light. It does come with this uh, gasket that goes around the outside. Sometimes you have to play with it a little bit uh, because it likes to come out as you're as you're snugging it up, but you want to go ahead and, and turn so you coil some of that wire in the back. As you can see, this is part of the gasket. And then you simply are going to put it right there and screw it in. Try to snug these down the same. There is a gasket behind there, right? So get them somewhat snug and then snug them all up. And we have one of the LED turn signals installed. Let me get to the other one and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these installed. I will tell you when I took off the original um, passing lamp and I kind of looked at how all this was connected, I'm like, ay, 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 look at this stuff that happened back in 2000. Crap, I hope I'm going to be able to get a new light on this thing. And then I get the light from Custom Dynamics, and I'm like, uh, Houston, these are sweet, but we have a problem. We can't plug them in. How the heck am I going to plug them in? Well, 
of course, custom dynamics, nose lights, right? So it comes with this adapter. Um, now, when, when you go ahead and order uh, lights online at Custom Dynamics, you're going to go ahead and put your bike in, and it's going to show you everything that will fit your bike. So I don't want to tell you to go get this because it may not fit your bike. Same with the lamps or anything else I put on there. You really need to go to the Custom Dynamics site. It's really easy, and quite frankly, it's cool because you can see everything you can do for your bike, right? So these are simple. Uh, this adapter is a simple plug-in. I'm going to go ahead and plug in uh, ground here, and then the black, uh, you can't see it, black gray, it's going to go right into this uh, red outlet here, right? So now you're adapted, and now the light goes ahead and plugs in, just like that. So what I'm going to do now, and then this will uh, we'll go ahead and fit into here, right? And there's a, a ring that I will go ahead and, and, and put around that. But for the uh, sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up myself. Uh, get this one back on, do the other side of the motorcycle, and I'll show you what I got. All righty. All right, so far we have the uh, LED turn signals on. We have the 4.5-inch uh, LED halo passing lamps. And next is going to be the headlight. Super excited about that. It's going to look like that without some plastic. Um, so I have taken off the old one and the ring as well. Now, the motorcycle uh, light for the headlight comes with this ring. And the idea is that this comes off, right, uh, off the bucket and you put this one on. Uh, since I did have a, another LED on here, uh, I'm not sure it's going to fit, but I'm thinking about trying the light with this one before pulling it off and putting on this one. Yep, 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 yep. Trust Custom Dynamics, Bodine 52. Trust Custom Dynamics. They sent you this for a reason. Take the old one off. You know, I'm a little hard-headed, but guess what? Follow the instructions and take the original off. All right, I'll be back. So this light actually comes with an adapter if you need it. Um, and on my Road King, I actually did. This was the original uh, mounting hardware, if you will, that went right to the bucket. That doesn't work, at least for this bike. So, of course, there's a, an adapter. Uh, simple plug-in right here the light is going to fit right there and then you just go ahead and put the ring around it and the trim and you are good to go so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like and then we're gonna take a look at the entire bike and the transformation to LED on an old Road King mm -hmm. 